Hello, welcome back to another lecture. In here, we want to calculate the absolute maximum moment in this girder or beam bridge for the moving vehicle with this type of loading going over the beam. Where is the uh, absolute maximum moment? One of the first, take a look at the vehicle itself. The front axle, front tire, has four kips. The second has the six kips and the last uh, axle, last tire, has a uh, ten kips. And it is important for us to come back and let's do the diagram over here. And this is the um, four kips. And then we have the six kips right here. And then in the end we have the um, ten kips. A, B, let's call this point C right here. Now, this is the same as if I have to replace them with one resultant force, right? I can replace them with, um, say, resultant force which is going to fall between these two most likely, right here. And we know FR is going to become 4, 6, and 10. So 10 plus 6 plus 4, which is equal 20 kips. But I'd like to know this distance. Let's calculate that distance. We know when we, uh, if we take a moment about this point, if we had the reaction, it would be summation moment equals zero, but not worry about that. If I take a moment about this point, it's same as, this is the same as this, taking a moment about this point. So I'm going to say, okay, uh, summation moment about point C, going counterclockwise is positive, so it's going to be minus 6, uh, wait a minute, that was 8 feet right here, and that's 16 feet. So it's going to be minus 6 times 16, and minus 4 times 24. That's equal, really, same as down here, FR times X. And therefore, we can say from this equation, x comes out to uh, nine point six nine point six feet. That's important. We like to know that. So now we know that we're going to come back in here. We want to know uh, what is the absolute maximum moment. Well, let's first uh, put the uh, six kip low, 10 kip low right here at the back and center it over this 10 kips. See what we're going to get for that. And how we do that to center that over the load, we have to figure a reaction out. We know that if we do that, um, we want to center it over here, then we've got to split the difference between the resultant force and that load. Um, the 10 kips is going to be right here. And our resultant force is going to be uh, right here, which is not going to count. We just need it for the distance. So this is FR. And next to that, we have about that. Uh, and I got the six kip right here. And then I have the uh, four kips over here someplace in the beam. We have to figure these distance out. We know it. But this is what I, it's important right here. This two distance got to be equal. We know the distance between the here and then this, 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 and then 10 kips, it came out to 9.6. Therefore, the distance between them both, if we split them in half, it become uh, 9.6 divided by 2, 4.8. So that distance is a 4.8 feet, okay? Now we know where these loads are located. Now we know this, and then we can know, okay, from here to here is 16 feet, so it's 16 feet, it's gonna be 4.8 feet minus this one, and that should come out to, so this should come out like 6.4, and we know this one is uh, eight feet. However, now we wanna calculate the uh, reaction forces right here. You have Ay, 
and we have dy right here. Um, to do that, we're going to go ahead and take a moment about point B. Summation moment about point B is equal to zero. Going counterclockwise is positive. And I have um, uh, this distance is going to be 4.3. 3.3, I believe it is. Okay, so it's going to be 4 times. And that's going to be about B, so it's going to be positive. 4 times 3.3. And plus, the next one is going to be 6, and 6 is going to be time 3.3. And 8 is 11.3. And the next one is going to be uh, all the way from here. That's going to be this distance. It's going to be going to be calculated. You can figure it out. It's going to be 27.3. Uh, so you have uh, plus 10 times 20. 7.3 and minus uh, minus uh, ay times 45 equals zero and ay comes out to ay comes out to 787 kips all right so far what we have done is uh, we center the 10 kips load over the center line by spring the difference between the resultant force and uh, 10. By the way, in here we don't use the resultant force because resultant force is the only way we put them here so we know how to center over the load. And the load that we're going to calculate is at these axle loads. And now we have the reaction calculated. We can go ahead and find out what is the uh, moment right under the 10 kips. So we can go ahead and... Uh, Is right here. So we can go ahead and uh, and say this is where the 10 kips going to come down right there. 10 kips. And of course, when you cut it, what happened? When you cut it, it's going to be uh, you're going to have a share and a moment. Uh, let's call it MS and BS. And this distance comes out to be seven is twenty two point five minus four point eight, so it becomes seventeen point uh, seven feet. And right here we have uh, load AY. Okay, so one oh one the absolute moment is. So the absolute moment comes out to uh, um, summation moment about point S is equal to zero. We're going to have AY times 17.7, which is 7.87. It's going to be minus 17.7. Um, and then we're going to have plus, that's a positive MS, is equal to zero. So MS comes out to uh, 139 cape foot. Okay, so that's one way. Let's say this is one method one uh, due to uh, a 10 load. And now we're going to go ahead and uh, center the vehicle, use a six chip load. So center the vehicle over, uh, uh, over the center line. Let me go back in here and uh, use this side. So, okay, make the beam right here, and we're going to have um, center line, and then we're going to have the uh, six kips going to be on this side. So my resultant force, let's say put an FR here. 
and then for the six skips right here and then you have the four kips here and ten is going to be someplace in here so we found out the distance before between the FR and six kip was six, six point four and we're going to just split this 6.4 distance so that's going to be right here to here and this distance they're both going to be the same thing equal it's going to be uh 6.4 divided by 2 so that's the 3.2 feet and we can calculate the rest of these uh, based on this uh, uh, corner we have and we know from fr to 10 came out to 9.6 feet before uh we calculate that 9.6 six feet we know the whole beam is right from here to the center line is 22.5 because it's 45 and then we know if this is going to be three point this distance is eight feet uh well it's uh that's all we need for now okay so now we know this is the condition we brought in so we can go ahead and calculate our reaction again so we got to calculate a y Actually, we're interested in BY right now. Let's calculate BY. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take a moment about point A. Summation moment about point A is equal to zero. Counterclockwise is positive. Uh, and uh, I'm going to have BY times 45. That's positive. BY times 45 minus 4 times... Uh, that's come out to 33.7. You can use your mathematic knowledge to figure that out. And then you have the minus 6 times uh, 25.7, then minus 10 times maybe 9.7 equals 0. So that's distance is 9.7 because you got 22.5 minus 9.6. And minus 3.2 comes out to 10, 9.7. So from here, we find our BY comes out to BY is equal to uh, 8.6 kip. Great. We have that. Then we're going to go ahead and we do the same thing over here. On this side, like we said before, By, and I'm gonna have the um, this distance is uh, nineteen point three, and this load right here is the six kip. Okay, and if the shear went up, shear gonna come up this way. Vs, moment when this was a moment m, it's gonna be ms opposite same time so we cut on this side of it now uh, the loading we have the six kip beyond the six kip we have eight feet away right here we have the four kip and this distance we know is eight feet already all right so we're going to go ahead and use that and we're going to say uh, summation um, summation moment about point uh, s is equal to zero we're going to have by which is uh, 8.6 multiplied by 19.3 all right then we're going to have minus 4 times 8 is equal and plus minus ms minus ms is equal to zero and therefore our ms kind of come out to the moment comes out to uh, 135.5 135.5 kip foot all right so now we calculated both moment in two different ways this one and this one and we know the absolute maximum moment due to due to this vehicle all going over the girder it's going to be 139 kips per foot because we use these two loads they're heavier than the other one and that's how we did it